Honestly, my run of bad jobs at the minute is unbelievable. We had the last bathroom we done, which was a bit awkward with all the pipe work behind it. We had that house and tank that I had to get out, and that was a complete nightmare. This job has been everything that could possibly have been in place to test me has, from the thin walls to get nothing into, to the floor falling apart, to chasing back the hot and cold to the shower and, and sorting that out. And now, we were planning on just overboarding the ceiling, but whoever's boarded it before has put no battens down the side, no battens along the back, and no battens down there. By the time knocked holes in it trying to find the battens and that, we just went solid. Let's just rip the old ceiling down. So we've just got to span these gaps along here, between here. When it's going up there, it has something to fix to. If you put a board up there and just screwed it there, it'd sag in that corner. At least then we know it's done properly. At the end of the day, you do it once, you do it right. Right, welcome back to the channel. As always, we've got an issue on this bathroom. Keep watching because there's a few little issues during it and a big major issue at the end. This video I originally had attached to Sunday's video, but it was turned into like a 45 minute video and I didn't want to lump all of the, the stress from a, a 45 minute video onto you lot on a Sunday night. So I gave you 20 minutes Sunday. You've had Monday, Tuesday and today to get over it and now you've got this Wednesday night. So... Yeah, it's coming together. Um, it's just one of them jobs, isn't it? It's one of them jobs where what could go wrong has not so much wrong, but what could be an issue has been an issue. So I'll let you get on with it. I'm not going to waffle on too much. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I shall catch you all soon on a completely different job that isn't a bathroom job, which would be very nice, wouldn't it? So I'll let you get on with it. Right, we're back in this bathroom, as you can see. We're now pushing along and we're trying to get all the pipe working where the shower valve's gonna go before the boarding is put on here and we've still got a few little pipes to get sorted in the floor. But I wanna try and get this done and get the fittings in place so we can get these boards on when Mark comes. He's due to come at some point this morning to begin doing that for us. So uh, I'm just a little bit conscious we've gotta get this in. So we've worked out where the valve's gonna go because they're gonna have a glass screen coming to roughly here. At least with that there, they can reach in, turn the shower on, save them reaching right in, turning it on, and getting absolutely soaked. The two pipes are gonna come off the valve here. This is your hot and your cold going into the bottom, and then these two, you've got outlets on the valve. That one, we're gonna run along, along here and drop down into this body one bit, and then this one, we're gonna come off along, and because it's constantly rising, you can go up for the rainfall there. So let's channel this wall out here, and then across there. So this house is built with these eggshell sort of style boards, which are a bit of a pain to put anything in, but let's get this cut out and see what we're dealing with. So we managed to chop out through this eggshell boarding where we're gonna run the pipes. Now, the depth of it isn't great, but I think we're just about going to be able to get the outside tap wall plates that I use to screw in but I'm just a little bit mindful of how we're going to fix them to the back of this because this is the board obviously from the other side the plaster board that's that's the depth of it so I'm a little bit concerned I'm going to do that this is going to be boarded off again and then tiled so we have got a little bit of play we could maybe grip fill or CT1 some some ply onto that um, and up there and then screw into it but this is just a little bit of a, a baffling bit that I'm not too sure how we're going to get over it at the moment. I've got a bit of a think about that but also we're going to run the two pipes around here and the valve is going to go, you can see the valve is going to go just here. With this though we can cut out the back of it because it's in a cupboard and then we're going to put some plinth on the back edge of it so we can screw through. So the valve isn't going to be a problem, we're going to have to trim through there but it's just going to be how we're going to mount these two brackets onto the wall there. Hmm. What we can crack on today with doing, I know that the shower tray, the waste is going to be in that far right hand corner. So we can bring that waste along into situ. And then when this floor goes down, we're going to make it removable. So that will be fine. We're going to bring the hot from these basin pipes over to here. We've got cold. Then that is that done. We'll work out exactly where the tower rail is going to go. Bring them pipes up. Then, we're just about ready to get that boarding on, get that on. We're gonna cut 
the saw pipe down for a Durgo to go on there. As long as it's above the flood level, we'll be fine. And then the extractor that's going in is going to reuse the pipe that's going up to the tile in the roof. So yeah, the two days that I sort of was chasing my tail a little bit has now worked out. So now we're making a good bit of progress. So we're going to crack on now, run this pipe in and get all the work done that we need to in the floor and where this wall is. I'm just in the process now of getting this hot pipe in. Put a little kick on that, so that's going to sit just there, like so. Now what we're going to have to do is just put a little set dropping down to go into that, because, because it's ever so slightly lower than the top of the joist. So we'll put a little set there, connect it into here, solder it there, and then that is that hot pipe in for the basin, for the vanity setup along that back wall. That's that pipe in now, I'm just going to solder it up here, solder it up here, little set there to lift it up, kick a bit of hair out through the joist and away we go. So always remember to make sure the end that you're going to be working with is upright. The amount of times I've put a little bit of pipe in like that and the end's just been crooked, it's just a pain. So always make sure that's sitting upright, let's, let's get this soldered up then we can cut the cold out of the way and look then at getting that waste pipe in for the bath. Just clip them, clips in place. Now this one, if you haven't seen these, these are the Talon joist clips. Really handy because you know sometimes you can't get underneath to put a clip on here. These ones just work that way. I've spun it around the other way on this one, but you can do it so that that fitting is actually underneath the joist there. So they are the easy clips from Talon. Very handy, worth grabbing a bag, sticking in your van because they are one of those clips that when you've got them, you use them. And they're perfect for like bringing pipes out next to the joist. You can just Nail it onto there, fire it up, there you go, that's what they look like. And you just put them, for argument's sake, like that. And screw it or nail it into the joist. Perfect. So I've been pushing on a little bit with this bathroom. Ah oh, look, brick top's back. Brick top's back on the channel, making a hole in the ceiling, causing loads of noise. I've uh, been pushing on with this bathroom a little bit this morning. I've not filmed too much because I wanted to get it in because I knew Mark was coming to get some new flooring down. We've done the um, pipe for the shower, so that is poking up round in this corner. We can remove this floor tomorrow when we're going to lay the tray in. Uh, the same with the towel rail that's going here. The, this and this one are loose. We'll just pop that back right there. They're loose at the moment, we've got the heating pipes coming under there, so once we've done what we're going to do, we're going to whip these up, mark up where the towel rail is going to go, bring the pipes up. We've cut the saw pipe down, I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. We've got a Durgo to go on the top, as long as it's above flood level, we're fine with that. Then, when the worktop goes across the top, they're not going to have that boxing in the corner. Then we've got a dot and dab this wall here, put a new scene up, we're going to board it, and then the plaster is coming to skim it Friday. And then we're going to put moisture boards on here and the toilers when they come to do this bit will tank the moisture board so it won't be a problem like that then what i've done here we've got the shower valve going here i was worrying a little bit about running these pipes in this wall but we've put a baton on there and then if i use some nail on clips to run the two pipes round up for the rainfall down for the body one they'll just tack straight onto there and then we can board over that ready for the tiler so that is we've made that work so that's not too bad it's just the valve it's going to be a bit of a pain but we're going to address that in a bit let's now get the ceiling boarded get that done and get that done honestly my run of bad jobs at the minute is unbelievable we had the last bathroom we done which was a bit awkward with all the pipe work behind it we had that uh Alson tank that i had to get out and that was a complete nightmare this job has been everything that could possibly have been in place to test me has from the thin walls to get nothing into to the floor falling apart to chasing back the hot and cold to the shower and, and sorting that out and now we were planning on just overboarding the ceiling but 
whoever's boarded it before has put no battens down the sides, no battens along the back and no battens down there. By the time we had knocked holes in it trying to find the battens and that, we just went sod it, let's just rip the old ceiling down and board another one up. So we've just got to span these gaps along here, between here, just so the board, when it's going up there, has something to fix to, like here in the corner. If you put a board up there and just screwed it there, it'd sag in that corner. So we just put some battens in there, get it all done right. At least then we know it's done properly. At the end of the day, you do it once, you do it right. So this bathroom is just sapping hours of the day. It just seems you start to get a little bit done and then it's a knock on effect to everything else. But we've now got the pipe work set in the wall, ready for that valve to be put in tomorrow. We're running around here, we've got the top in, we've got the rain fall in, we've got the hand wand in, and we've just had to work out exactly to where the front face of this has got to go because we're boarding, we're coming off here with board and then the tile, so it's just crucial that you get exactly where they've got to be set to for when the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When the flange head plate, flange uh, head plate goes on. <laughs> when the bar goes on the top here and when that actual fitting goes onto that one there. But that's in. We're going to do the rub pipes tomorrow. We've just finished boarding the ceiling, that's the last little screws in. But yeah, this bathroom is just sapping time like you wouldn't believe. But we're getting there now, we're get, getting some headway. So once them pipes are put in tomorrow for the towel rail, we're going to get the tray in, so that'll be in, sealed. And we've just got to set this valve in, but it's got to be boarded from the back because the depth of it to sit it in is quite awkward. But we'll go through that tomorrow. Today, we made a bit more progress. So we've been cracking on with this bathroom for a couple of hours. I just want to try and get my head into it now and get as much done as we can. So I haven't really filmed a lot. Um, I'll show you what we've been up to though. I'll just turn off this new pop master that's on Radio 2. What is it? T 10 for 10 or something. I'm not a fan. Let's go over and find where Ken's gone. So I've now mounted the valve in the wall. It's took some doing because we've had to work out exactly where the tile's going to go because you've got to sit within this 30 mil tolerance here. So that's done there. We can connect these two onto this connection here and this connection here. So I've made them all up and they're all in situ. They're all ready. All I've got to do is tighten on these two pipes onto the top ones and then they're hot and cold through there. Now, the way we've had to do it, because we may have to, I think I said we may have to fit a pump in at a later date. We're gonna come out of here, run down the wall here and connect on to our hot and colds at the bottom there and then we'll just cover the pipe work, all these holes as best we can. You know, it just had to be done that way because we're trying to future-proof it in case it needs a pump at a later date. So we've got that to do. We've got the board in now. I've got the pipe work in for the towel rail. Floor's in. We're just about to start getting this boarded and then get this boarded. And then at the end of the day today, we can get the shower tray in and that's the majority of the stuff done. Scotty, the plaster is coming out tomorrow to do the ceiling. So after that, we should be sort of there or thereabouts. But this one has just been everything that could push against me as on this one. And I'm just due just a straightforward bathroom renovation or just a few easy weeks where I haven't got to stress out too much. But yeah, we've got that in and that's where I wanted to be at with that. So we've now got the pipe work in this cupboard here, feeding the back of the shower. So we've got the two hot and colds coming up where we bought them in there and we've just connected the valve here and obviously Mark's now beginning to get this boarded up here ready to get it tiled so what we're going to do we're going to fill this we're going to board along here put some insulation behind here fill this then we can get the shower tray in and we're just about making some headway on this now so we've finally made progress in this bathroom now we've got the valve in we've got it boarded we've got it covered we've got this wall boarded We've got it done there. We're basically ready now for Nate to come and tile it. As I said, the tray's gonna go in here. We've got a little issue with the tray, so I'll show you that in a second. Nate, the toilet will tank the area, completely seal it up, so it's not gonna be a problem. And then we're gonna be tiling to about here, and then half height around the rest of it. But I was just about to fit this tray. We've got it stripped down. It, we ordered it, 1500 by 700 tray. So just before we was about to drop it in, I noticed, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick it up, but there's a lip on here. The washer would sit in, on top of the trap, but here, now I don't know if you can make it out, it, there's basically a lip going round 
and it's not formed. So this is how it should be, this, this finished edge here. It's like this bit has been done, but this bit hasn't been formed. So there's a lip this side and a lip that side. So it just would not sit flush if we put the washer on. It would have a gap, as you can see there, and a gap at the bottom. Yeah, you could probably have made it with silicon, but it just wouldn't have sat. I'd have just constantly been thinking about it if we had done it. I ummed and ahed and thought, no, I'm just going to order another tray because that... Yeah, you can see it's there, it's just a gap at the, at the side. But it's just not finished all the way around. So that has put us back. All we had to do was set that tray down and then this bathroom is ready for Scotty to come and skim the ceiling tomorrow and then ready for Nate to come and tile. It's a little bit annoying, but hopefully Plumbase can get the tray in. As we know from previous videos, Dave and the lads at Plumbase are pretty good at getting stuff in. I've rung them and told them and they said they'll order another one for tomorrow. So, touch wood. We're hopefully going to get that tray in first thing tomorrow, or at least after Scotty's done the ceiling, but just really annoying. I wanted to get it in. This bathroom just seems to have thrown everything at me. I thought the last one was bad. This one's just chucking loads of little bits at me, but we'll get that sorted, hopefully, first thing in the morning and get that tray done. So it's Friday morning after the issues we had yesterday with that tray. I went to Plum Base last night, Went and put an order in for the tray and it's not going to get here till Monday, which luckily I've spoke to the customers about it. They're all right with it. And it's also allowed us to get Scotty the plaster in to do a bit. It's gold cup day. So Scotty's come in, smashed the ceiling in, smashed the walls in. I've never seen you work so quick, Scotty. Aye, do anything for a drink and a bet. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the ceiling in. As, we, as I've said before, we're going to be half, uh, full height tiling where the shower's going and then half height around the room because we got these boarded yesterday while Scotty was here, I said, look, just skim them up as well, so it's a nice finish on it. So we'll get that done, get this off over the weekend, and then Monday we can get that tray in and begin getting the tiles on the wall. So it's Monday morning, fresh start to the week, and we are back in this bathroom. I think we left on Friday with Scotty doing the plaster. It's got the walls done, it's got the ceiling done. So that is all ready to go. I've picked up some brushes and some paint. So I'm going to give the ceiling a coat of white paint just because for the customer, it's a lot easier. Once that's tiled and all the units and everything's in, if the ceiling's already white, it just saves flicking stuff all over the units. I don't, I, whenever I do a bathroom, I don't quote to do the decorating in it. But if I get a chance to do the ceiling white, I will do. So we pick that up, we're ready to go with that. I've also got the replacement tray. It is, I bought it up, it's downstairs. So I got a replacement tray from Plum Base. Fair play to the lads, they got that in for me. So we can get that in today. And then when Nathan and Matty come tomorrow, they can tank out the shower area and begin doing the toilet. As I say, we're going half height round and then full height in the shower. So that's the ceiling done, ready for the electrician to get the lights extractor in. It just finishes off this bathroom because you don't want to be painting a scene when everything's in and flicking little bits of paint everywhere. So I've got that done. I've also got the tray in. Now, I didn't film doing the tray because this GoPro, as usual on the Monday morning, ran out and it's been on charge. So the tray is in, I've silicon around the side of it. Now, it's, but I bed these down on silicon, which is what I've done for so, so long. And a lot of manufacturers are now moving to CT1 or BT1 or silicon to bed them down with. I know you can use mortar, I know you can use various other things, I've always used silicon, never had an issue with it. And I've silicon around the outside. Now on this one, I did try fitting one of these ceiling kits. This is a Myra ceiling kit, I think, but I just was not happy with how it fitted. It was just in the back of my mind. I didn't like how it fitted. So I took it out. Now I've silicon around it. I silicon the back of the tray, then I silicon all around the edge. So it's completely sealed all the way. The tiles will sit down onto it after, obviously, before anyone says, this is all going to be tanked out and sealed. Tiles will sit down on top of the silicon, then they'll be siliconed again. So that is the way I've done trays for 20 plus years. Never had an issue with it. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Never had an issue with it. So it's all ready now. So I meet Matt and Nate, the tilers here, first thing in the morning, and they can begin tiling. It's bathroom. Yeah. 